So this is what we're aiming for to do today, a firework. Okay, so the easiest way I know how to create this firework is by selecting the cube, press delete, press shift A, and then go to mesh and choose a isosphere. Not UV sphere, but an isosphere. Then we select the sphere and we go uh, to the modifiers and we add a subdivision modifier. So we search for it, add it, and then we want to go up to two levels. We get a really smooth surface and we then we actually apply this like that and now we go down to particles and add a particle system and so if we start the playback now it just drops a lot of balls and we don't want that and we want to change the we want to change the frames to 50 just to get a quick update and a firework is an explosion so it's just a boom and it's done so we want the frame to start at one and we want the frame to end at one also because it's, it's an explosion and uh, and as you can see it almost works as we want it to but these balls don't have any speed and we want to set this to 20 should be fine and then we want the lifetime to maybe only be to 40 and i want to number yeah and then how many gluing objects it should be it i think it looks okay to keep this at thousand so we just zoom out a little bit and then we press Ctrl Alt Zero to realign the camera and press G and ZZ to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, that should be and we can select the lamp and delete it. Okay, but I want the balls to glow, so let's just add another ball like shift A, mesh, and choose another isosphere. And we can just drag it to the side. So G Y, we drag it over here. And on this one, we go down to material and we press a new and we can select this principal BSDF and change it to emission. And I want this firework to be blue. So let's change that. And I want it, you know, it's really, really glowing. So let's set this to 500, I think. And then we change the, the render type and now we can select this now we can select this emitter ball and we go up to particle settings and we scroll down to render and we change this render as halo and change that to object and then we take this pimpet and select the new ball and the light and we can uh, uncheck show emitter pause it there and then we press f12 and it doesn't look great right now but we can change this and uh, right now we render with ev so let's just add some bloom and i can see now we need to move this we can just press g and y we drag it even more further away and we press f12 and whoops yes sometimes it we need to move it a little bit so f12 okay it's starting to look like something then also want some motion blur so let's press f12 yeah something like that and we press space to start the animation again we can pause it, press F12, and it's starting to look good. Great. And uh, I think we are done. So thanks for watching. And if you like this, please give it a like. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.